In this episode of Home Built Workshop, we're building some weird sort of birdcage. Not really. We're building the Gobar deck with our radius sanding dishes for the acoustic guitar build. So stick around. This is kind of a weird birdcage looking thing though. What's going on everyone? Welcome to this episode of Home Built Workshop. I hope you're all doing awesome. Today we're going to make another step in the process of building my acoustic guitar. What are we working on today? Well, I am at the point where I'm ready to start gluing on and getting the braces fitted, but in order to fit the braces properly, they have to be at a certain radius so that we get that nice radius on the top as well as the back of the guitar. One of the tools that's commonly used in this process is a set of radius dishes and a go bar deck. Now the radius dishes are typically somewhere around a 24 inch diameter that's carved out into like a 15 foot, 18 foot, 25, 30 foot radius. So it's a really shallow radius, but it's used for the assembly of the instrument to help give it that dished appearance. Now you can buy these radius dishes from just about all of the luthier supply shops, but what fun is that? I have drawn up my own set of models in Fusion 360. It's fully adjustable. I can set it to just about any radius that I want to use. Plus, my buddy Matt over at Zimbleman Guitars has just volunteered to cut these out for me on his new CNC machine. So, while I guess I'm not really going to make them myself, we are going to go over there and make these things, and it's going to be awesome. I've never had any chance to play with any sort of CNC machines yet, so I'm really excited. This is going to be fun. It's really probably going to make me want to buy one really bad, but let's go over there and cut out these radius dishes, and then we'll assemble it together into a go deck. So this was the first time I really had any hands-on experience using a CNC machine and I gotta tell you, it is really something cool to see a design that you made on your own computer being cut out on a CNC machine like this. It is really neat. Now if you're curious as to the bit that I'm using to cut this, it's a quarter inch ball nose bit. It's a down cutting two flute spiral bit. It did leave some very tiny ridges in there, but overall the surface is nice and smooth and those ridges I don't think are going to affect anything since we're going to be covering it with some adhesive back paper later on. This could probably be completely eliminated by doing a very fine finishing pass, but for what we're doing here, it's going to be perfect. And just like that, the radius dishes are complete. Big shout out to Matt. Thanks buddy for taking the time to let me play around with the machine for cutting these things out. What I have here is a 15 foot radius dish as well as a 28 foot radius dish. These are designed with holes in here so that I can use some threaded rod and bolt these things together creating a top which will then make the complete go bar deck. However, I need to drill a recess in the back side. I could have done this on the CNC machine, but we would have had to flip the piece over, reline it back up, but I need to make a little recess here so that the nut will sit flush with the back of this. That way it sits flat on the table. We'll just use a Forstner bit and carefully drill that out. To hold this contraption together, I'm using some threaded rod. I've got nuts on the outside edge of the MDF, and I'm using wing nuts on the inside to be able to tighten it down. There's one. We'll just do that three more times. And now the tricky part. I gotta put this one on top of this. Come on, you can do it. Hey, that wasn't so bad. So with the basic go bar deck assembled, 
Now I'm going to take it back apart. I decided that I want to apply a couple coats of lacquer to the MDF just to kind of seal it up, protect it a little bit. Maybe it'll help prevent chip out as I'm removing the adhesive back sandpaper in the future. Let's take this thing back apart. It does get kind of wobbly once you loosen everything up. After using this a little bit, I may decide to put some like little pieces of conduit or something on here just to act as a more secure post. We'll see how it works out though. I think this is gonna be okay for now. Shake well before using. While I'm waiting for that lacquer to dry, I need to make the little bars that get bent into place to clamp things down in the go bar deck. Now there's several different ways that people make these. A lot of guys I see use like driveway markers where you cut off the reflector and just use kind of that fiberglass rod. I'm gonna make mine out of wood and see how that works out. I've got a scrap of silver maple here. I'm just gonna rip down a bunch of small strips on the bandsaw. I think it'll work fine. And if they break, we'll just make more. I don't really have a specific length in mind for these little rods. I'm just working with the piece that I have. I kind of think they might be a little bit long, but I want to try them first, see how they work. And since these are wood, it's going to be super easy to cut them down if they're too long. With the lacquer applied, it's now time to break out the giant sanding discs. What I have here are some 80 grit, 24 inch diameter sticky back sanding discs. Now, these are available in a lot of the luthier supply houses, but I'm gonna share a pro tip with you guys. I get all of my abrasives from a company out of Gettysburg, Pennsylvania called Super Grit. Now I have no affiliation with them other than the fact that I too am from Pennsylvania. But Super Grit, in my experience, is awesome. They have about every single thing you could ever want as far as sanding and buffing and polishing, all of that kind of stuff. These are originally intended for a floor sander. They're a lot cheaper to buy, I think, this way than to buy from the supply houses. So if you guys are looking for abrasives like this or really any other abrasive, I definitely recommend check out Super Grit. I think their website is supergrit.com. I'm going to put a link in the description. Again, I am not affiliated with them at all, but every time I've needed something, they've had it and their prices are really good too. So definitely check them out. Maybe they'll work for you guys. But let's apply these things. This is the largest piece of sandpaper I think I've ever applied. <laughs> it's cool. Look at that. Almost like it was meant to fit. Oh wait, it was. <laughs> to reassemble this. Just in case you're wondering why I'm making this bolt together, really it's a space thing. When I'm not using this, I need to be able to take it apart and store it someplace else because I have no spot where I can leave this assembled. One day when we have a nice large shop, isn't that the dream? Where I can leave everything set up, then I would probably just do that. But right now, having such a limited amount of space, I need to be able to disassemble this thing and store it flat somewhere. I don't even know where I'm gonna store it yet, but I'm not worried about that at the moment. What I am worried about is where that nut that I just dropped went. <laughs> there you are. I see you. Come here. Hey, look. Remember those pencils I lost? 
<laughs> All right, you go up here like so. You go on there. You go on there. You go over here. I'll make sure everything's nice and snug. Smashing into stuff a couple times. We got a pile of sticks. What we would do is put our pieces in here, bend these sticks, and use those to clamp our parts in place. This one broke off, so I just made it a little point. I don't know if that'll be helpful or not for some sort of pointy clamp. Look at that. And there's our go bar deck with our 15 foot radius dish and the 28 foot radius dish. We also have a bunch of sticks, clamps, bendy stick clamps, technical term, ready to go for the next operation, which if you guessed braces, you're absolutely correct. It is time for me to start gluing braces, but you guys are gonna have to tune in to the next episode to see how we use this thing. We're gonna put it to work, test it out, and see if we can glue some braces in on the top as well as the back of the acoustic guitar. Guys, I hope you found this helpful. If you did, let me know down below in the comments. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. If you wanna see some more videos of this acoustic guitar building process up to where I am right now, you can click right up here. There's a little playlist, and you can watch all of the videos up to date for this acoustic guitar build. We'll see you next time. Uh...